but I found my go-to is Silhouette Studio. Um, you can see it here, it's free software. It is mainly used um, for their vinyl cutting machine. There are tons of tutorials um, online, YouTube. So found that really helpful if I can't figure something out. Somebody's probably already got a video for it. But we can start with something real simple as just creating a uh, text. So we'll come over here to the text panel. We're gonna come back over to our document and we're just gonna click in there and type in whatever we want. So we can see real quick, we've got text. Now the thing for the engraver is it needs it to be in black so it knows what to engrave. Um, so if we wanna just real simply make it an outline, then we could come over to the panel here. We're gonna select the lines. Let's change our color to black. It's what I've recently used. You'll see our text is now in black. We can make that line thicker by uh, just adding up here and we'll see it darkens up or take the slider bar. Um, so that's a real quick way to make a text item to engrave. We can easily take the little palette and also fill that in black. Now we have a solid text. So if I were gonna take this and use this for an engraving, I would take, come down to the bottom and use my snipping tool. And we're gonna pick a new image here. We're gonna cut it. I try to cut it pretty close to the image or to the text. That way we can easily center our image and size it. So we're going to do a save as. We just call it test one. We're saving it as a JPEG file. And now it's real easy to engrave this simple text. All right, so now I'm going to open up T2 Laser, which is the software I use to control my engraver. And up here in, let me pull it over in here. So if we go up to file, we can open an image. We're gonna select the one I just created, test one, and open. So we'll see it kind of looks blurry there. So here's what we'll adjust some settings. We'll start with what size we want it. So everything's in millimeters. So just kind of a standard rule is 25 millimeters is an inch. So let's, let's make it two inches tall. And we'll see it changes the output width. And so we'll hit okay. And we'll see it kind of clears it up. So we can easily change the resolution. Um, point one's pretty crisp. Point two is still acceptable. I try to kind of adjust that based on how long I need it to take. So if it's a smaller image, I might make it a little more crisp just to, because um, the time's not as big of a deal. We'll keep that there. We can select our laser power. I always just keep the defaults. And then our feed rate. Um, anywhere from about 1,000 to 1,500, I find I get a really good quality image burned. So we'll keep it there. The other things we're gonna check is um, black and white. That keeps the filled in solid. I always like horizontal graving over diagonal. I have found maybe once that diagonal was quicker, but usually it's not. Um, then we're going to go over to settings. Let's drop down to image settings. Bi-directional scanning is key. That way you're getting uh, scanning on both the left and right passes. We're going to skip any blank lines. There's no point in wasting uh, our time when it's not actually doing anything. And then we're going to do a rapid skip blank. That's going to speed up when there's nothing to burn. The one other thing we will want to I always pick is center start point. You can start in a corner if you want to do that. I think it's center is easy. You can mark the center of where you want your engraving to be and it's going to put it right there. So we've got all that set and we go to control laser. This is going to generate the G code, which is what it's sending to the laser to control it. And that can take a little while on a big image. So now we've got our laser control. Um, if I had mine connected, we hit the little connect lightning bolt and start to control it. One of the cool things you can see here is uh, we're gonna view, and that's where our, our center start point is. So if it's off just a little bit high or low, you can compensate that before you start. So good luck with your uh, engravings.